Like me, you probably want abs without having to suffer through hunger. And I was completely blown away by my results after eating like this for eight weeks. And here's everything I ate on a typical day. Okay, first meal of the day here is a little over a cup of oats. And then I put about a serving and a half of berries. Mixed berries, frozen, I like frozen. And I did do it in the almond milk today. Then I also have three whole eggs and about 230 grams of egg whites. And then I topped it off with about 60 grams of avocado. It's been about two years since my last diet, which was miserable. So I wanna show you how to do this as easily as possible. But life has curveballs, so it's always insanely difficult to be consistent, especially with work and family and life and just chaos. I did expect this still to be a challenge, but how can I make it as smooth as possible? I think you'll be surprised. Well, hey, Mr. Man. All the dishes on the stove. Ignore that or don't, it's reality. I'm commuting to work. Hold on, I just left. Just wait, you're gonna ride with me my entire commute. Okay, it's a little bit of, little bit of a drive. Traffic's not terrible. Oh, oh look, we're here. I'm currently remodeling my brother's bathroom. He lives across the street from me. I haven't dieted in now, going closing in on two and a half years. I've been done really well consistently and very conservatively lean bulking. I've only gained maybe about 20 pounds probably in two years, but I think I did fairly well conservatively building mass with very minimal fat gain. My wife and I are doing the Arbonne 30 days to healthy living. I've got my detox tea here and my fist stick because I am cutting out coffee for eight weeks. I think it'll be interesting to see what kind of sensitivity I come back to it with. I use it as my pre-workout in the morning. I'll check back with you when I get into meal number two. I have been building muscle over the past two years progressively overloading that means adding additional weight to my lifts each week and I've been intentionally eating a little bit more every time my weight stalls out because I've been intentionally trying to gain weight so at this point my maintenance calories were at about 3700 which meant that I could start my deficit at about 3300 calories <laughs> it's just, just insane. It shocks me, but all because I reverse dieted and built my metabolism up first. But there was one reason in particular why this diet felt so easy. And I want to share that with you in just a minute. All right, here we are. Meal two. I may or may not have already eaten most of it, but I've got my salad here. And actually my uh, wife picked up this thing. It's called Greek goddess dressing because I was really worried with the dressing really most dressings are not kind of approved on the 30 days of healthy living just because most of them have sugar in them. And that's what we're trying to, one of the things that we're trying to avoid. But these dressings are actually pretty clean dressings, very minimal ingredients, quite good. Get about five ounces of chicken, maybe a, a serving of baby carrots cut up and spinach and mixed greens. I'll put the calories on the screen. I also didn't finish my oatmeal from this morning, so I still have that to look forward to. And then I have one of these smaller oranges, two of them actually, a banana, and also a Granny Smith apple. Feeling pretty good today so far. But honestly, what do you do when you're trying to eat healthy and in a deficit, but your family is not? This could honestly derail the best of efforts to actually lose weight. So, as a family, we basically all eat the same. We found some awesome ways to really just help our kids enjoy healthy meals that are all centered around protein, veggies, and some sort of healthy carb. And then of course, we can still enjoy ourselves on some nights with pizza, with ice cream, even a little whipped cream here and there, because I want my kids to actually have balance with food and not obsess over it. Family dinner. What do you think about the dinner, Ryland? You're having it too. Yeah. yeah. Daddy, what about you? Yum. Yum. I have had it before. You have had it. So delicious. All right, so it is sweet potato shepherd's pie. Plus I added, well, Krista made veggies. So there it is. But the interesting thing is I was finding I actually wasn't eating enough. I was actually so strategic with what and how I was eating that I was under eating for my target, which made for a mental boost at the end of the night. All right, final meal of the day. I was gonna make a protein ice cream, but it's 9.30 and I wanna go to bed. <laughs> I actually had three oranges and also had an apple, well, three clementine oranges and I had an apple because I'm finding I'm, I'm not eating enough at lunch, so I'm actually too low on my calories. But here is the evening snack here. I've got some three scoops of protein powder with about a little less than a cup and a half of almond milk. This is about a quarter cup of cacao nibs, which is, you know, just a different way of eating uh, cocoa. Okay. I did sneak maple syrup into this. 
<laughs> just because I'm behind on calories and I don't want to undershoot too much. However, that's what I did tonight just because. <laughs> when you eat this and try to prioritize sleep because that's what I did wrong the last time around. And uh, so we'll go to bed soon-ish. Or something. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but now I want to tell you the one thing that made the biggest difference during this diet. I ate, drum roll please, get ready for it, whole food. Groundbreaking, huh? Most of the times, I hardly felt like I was actually dieting. I'm just constantly reminded of how much results in fitness always keep coming back to the basics. But none of this will matter for you unless you've actually built up your metabolism first. And I'll show you exactly how to do that on this video over here. And as always, be intentional, bring the intensity, and I'll see you over there on the next video.